On this episode of China Uncensored, nothing speaks to the glory of Tibetan Buddhism like core socialist values. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. You know, no one cares as much about religion as the officially atheist Chinese Communist Party. That is, they care about getting involved with religion. Whether it's taking down Christian crosses, banning reincarnation without government permission, or supporting Tibetan Buddhism. Wait, what? Just last week, the second highest figure in Tibetan Buddhism held a 12-day ritual that hasn't been performed basically since a failed Tibetan uprising 50 years ago. It's called the Kalachakra ritual. Kalachakra means wheel of time. I learned from state-run Xinhua that is reporting on it for some reason. The ritual is performed to activate dormant enlightenment for the 100,000 people, including thousands of monks who were apparently allowed to freely gather to practice Tibetan Buddhism. It's so extraordinary, you just gotta capture the moment. The ceremony was conducted by the Panchen Lama, basically the number two guy in Tibetan Buddhism, after the Dalai Lama. As state-run CCTV puts it, The 11th Panchen Lama is the spiritual leader of Buddhism in China's Tibet region. In other words, this guy is a big deal. No, seriously, Xinhua even interviewed a living Buddha about it. Although the Panchen Lama is only 26 years old, he has become a very great master in Tibetan Buddhism. Wow, if a living Buddha says this Panchen Lama guy is so great on state-run media, you know there's probably something really wrong here. And you'd be right. This guy is not the real Panchen Lama. That is, if you go by the traditions of Buddhism instead of communism. The way it works in Tibetan Buddhism is the Panchen Lama helps find the reincarnation of the Dalai Lama and vice versa. The previous Panchen Lama died in 1989. Six years later, the Dalai Lama named this boy as the next one. But the Chinese regime said, nah, this is the guy. And the Dalai Lama's chosen one conveniently disappeared along with his family and hasn't been seen since. Don't worry, Chinese officials say they're fine. So now the Communist Party loves to bring this guy out and show how much the party supports Tibetan Buddhism and how much their appointed Lama is beloved and respected. And what's his message to Tibetans? I didn't waste time studying over the past two decades. That's right, Tibetans. Stay poor and uneducated. Great message. What else you got? Core values of socialism, such as harmony, honesty, and equality, have their corresponding contents in sutra. Oh, man. Yeah. So how does the Dalai Lama feel about this? Well, he doesn't want it to happen to the next Dalai Lama. That is, he doesn't want the Communist Party to pick his successor. That may be why he said the lineage of the Dalai Lama should end with him. More specifically, he said, there is no guarantee that some stupid Dalai Lama won't come next who will disgrace himself or herself. That would be very sad. So much better that a centuries-old tradition should cease at the time of a quite popular Dalai Lama. To which the Chinese Communist Party responded, no, you have to reincarnate. Why do they care? Don't they consider the current Dalai Lama a dangerous separatist? Well, yes, but when he dies, their Panchen Lama gets to pick the next Dalai Lama. And don't be surprised if that one also makes comparisons between core socialist values and Tibetan scripture. So what do you think about Beijing's Panchen Lama and the state-sponsored Kalachakra ceremony? Leave your comments below, and please share this video with anyone who may still think the Chinese regime has eased up on religion. Thanks for watching this episode of China Censored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you in the Bardo. In case you haven't heard, this is where World War III is going to start. It's the saddest polar bear in all of China. He lives in a shopping mall. 